Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from Make3DComics.com and BlackSunComics.com and today I'd like to talk to you about how I create characters in Daz Studio. Stay tuned. Okay, so creating a character in Daz Studio takes a lot of steps. More steps than I could cover in just this one short video. So what I've done is I've recorded myself creating a character and sped up the video so that you don't have to sit through every single thing. And what I'm going to do is attempt to narrate what I'm doing as best I can, pointing out the important parts. And I figure what I'll do in the future is create more videos that go more in depth into those parts that I'm going to point out in this video. So I hope that makes sense and we'll begin. So the base character that I use in Daz is Genesis. Uh, and I'm just searching for that right now. I like Genesis because it's very versatile. And what I'm doing now is applying um, Michael Four Morphs to Genesis. There's a plugin that I use called Generation X that will actually allow you to take older morphs from characters like Victoria Four and Michael Four and apply them to Genesis. The reason why I like Genesis is because you have auto fit. So later on, when I start to clothe this character, you'll see that the clothes automatically fit and I don't have to do too many adjustments. Um, character creation for me is really a process of trial and error. So you'll see what I'm doing here is just adjusting some of the morphs on the character. Um, right now he has a very muscular build, which doesn't really fit. The, the character that I'm working on is uh, an older character who's muscular but not as bulky as this. So you see I adjusted the eyes. I made them darker because the, the default eyes were a bit too light. So here I am adjusting the actual size of the character and it's kind of mashed up the face a bit so I need to fix that. So the, the beauty of Daz is that there's a lot of morphs that are available to adjust the look and feel of your characters to get them looking exactly the way that you want. Really you could spend, well I could spend hours just fiddling and morphing and... Okay so now we get to clothing the character. So I've auto fit this suit to my character. Didn't like the color, so I changed it to black. And now what I'm doing is looking for the surface selection tool to change the actual textures. Um, well, actually not the textures, but the, the shaders. So this, um, this actually customizes the look and feel of the material. So you can change it to, to leather or something metallic. Uh, and that's what I'm doing here because I, I really just want everything to be black. And as I'm doing this, I do a little spot renders just to make sure that the, the, final, the final look and feel will match what I have in my head. Mafakalela is more of an older character. So what I'm doing is looking up some aging morphs um, and applying that to his face. So some laugh lines, some wrinkles, um, some bags under the eyes. Not too prominent, but just enough so that you can tell that this character is a bit older, battle hardened, a bit weathered. They they have a lot of he has a lot of experience. So again, here's the trial and error. So I'm just playing with different morphs to to get the the look and feel that I want. Uh, now I'm adding a beard, and it's just a matter of deciding what kind of beard I want. So there, there's lots of options, as you can see, as I scroll through there. Now I'm adding some hair. And again, the beauty of Genesis is that the auto fit tool allowed me to take um, models that were made for older characters like Victoria 4 and Michael 4 and auto fit them to Genesis. Now the cyber suit that I chose at this point, I didn't really like it, so I felt I, I needed to add more. And this is a process of kit bashing, and that means taking parts of different 3D models and kind of mashing them all together to create something new. In this case, something a bit more customized. So I added the, the breastplate and the, uh, the arm guards or bracers, I think they're called, and then these uh, boots. And they're different colors right now, but I'll get to that later. So really it's just a matter of auto fitting everything so that it's morphed exactly to the character. And I like to do the 360 turn just to make sure everything is looking how it should. Uh, 
Uh, here's a bit of poke through that's happened. That's when you can see the skin underneath the, the clothes. So I'm just fixing that. It doesn't happen that often with Genesis, but uh, the odd time it does. The good news is that it's easy to fix. So here I am adjusting the colors. Didn't really like any of them, so I decided to make it uh, black to match the rest of his suit. So there's the, the, gray, um, the gray and the dark red around his neck and the arm brazers as well. So again, I'm grabbing the surface selection tool, uh, selecting each part of the uniform and adjusting the, the colors of each to, again, to match the look and feel of what I want. In this case, I just want everything to be black. So here's my finished character. You'll see it's changed a bit from what was happening before. I didn't want to make you sit through the whole thing. So I'm just going to zoom up on the face. And you'll notice that I've added some scars and some more um, aging morphs to his face. So this is really matching what I had in my head. The beard is not as pronounced anymore. It's more of a stubble type beard. And this is what I rendered out from Daz Studio. And here's the final image after it's gone through Photoshop with all my filters. And I've com composited an image with the skyline in the background in the city. And there it is. So thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit like. If you found the information useful, please subscribe. And be sure to visit us at blacksuncomics.com where you can pick up your copy of Black Sun, The Longest Night, issue number one. Until next time, take care. Thanks.